Hello there, Sabre fans. Han Solo here, and welcome to the channel. I'm back from taking some time off. I had about a month off or so from making uh, videos, so I do apologize for that. But I had some family visiting from the other side of the country and whatnot, spending time with them uh, just before the holidays. But I'm back, and back with a vengeance. And I've got an amazing lightsaber review for you guys today. This is the Bane Mark II from Saber Forge. So let's get started. I recently got this saber just a couple of days ago. Uh, it arrived. There were some issues with FedEx, not Saber Forge's fault at all, but some issues with FedEx. Took a couple extra days to get here, but I do have it now. I've got uh, a Darth Bane sound font put on here, all set up, ready to go, which I will show you guys at the end of this video in a quick demo. But before I start talking about this lightsaber, here is the Star Wars quote of the day. The Force is with me. It connects us. Okay, like I said before guys, this is an amazing lightsaber. I've only had it for a couple of days, but I'm super impressed with it. I'm a, a pretty new customer of Saber Forge, the company, but I'm glad I finally pulled the trigger and ordered from them. Uh, this is the Bane Mark II, so inspired by uh, Darth Bane's lightsaber, the character from the, the Old Republic, the guy who... Uh, started the whole rule of two when it comes to the Sith Lords. Um, this is a great representation of his saber, no doubt. Very pleased with it. I have it uh, installed with uh, their Champion Electronics, which right now is the Golden Harvest V3 board. It's a fairly new board for me anyways, but uh, I love it. It's a great, very user-friendly board and uh, very pleased with it, and I will talk a little bit more in depth about it later in this video. Uh, just to give you some guys uh, some specifics about this hilt, it's about 14 and a half inches long, but it is curved, as you can see, so it doesn't seem as long as 14 and a half inches because of the, the bend in it, but it is 14 and a half inches from pommel to tip of the claw here. Um, it weighs about 1.2 pounds without the blade. It's uh, actually pretty lightweight for uh, its size. Uh, I was a little bit uh, worried that it was going to be heavy because of its size, but uh, it's not heavy at all. It's very light and it's actually very comfortable, very good for spinning. It's got these finger grip sections here, and I will give you guys a close-up look at this hilt a little later so you can see uh, a little better. But yeah, just a, a very nice hilt for spinning. I didn't think it would be. I thought it would be a shelf queen, more of a showpiece, but it's actually a lot of fun to spin around and swing. So very happy with that. Um, also, it's about 1.5 inches in diameter, uh, which is pretty standard, pretty average for a lightsaber. Maybe a little thicker than some sabers, but uh, it's not bad at all. And I have it uh, with a 32 inch blade and equipped uh, with uh, their uh, deep red blade color. This is a lie. There is only passion. Which I have to say is an amazing red color. And at the end of this video, when I do a demo, I will kill the lights and you can see really how red it is. It may not show up that great here, but. Uh, very, very bright, a very deep, amazing color red. I think Saber Forge has nailed the red color for sure, 100%, as opposed to some other companies where uh, the red color kind of looks orange or reddish orange, but no, these guys have mastered the red color. If you want a red lightsaber blade, go with Saber Forge. Uh, the one disappointing thing with the Champion Electronics is that you can't change blade colors. You only get one. In order to uh, have a, a saber that changes color, you either need to drop down a step and get the veteran RGB soundboard, which uh, is good and it comes with uh, nine or 10 fixed 
sound fonts. You can't customize the soundboard, but you can color change. Or you have to pay an extra $125 for the Hero Pixel Sabers. And uh, that comes with a Neo Pixel Blade, which allows you to change the blade colors with uh, the Golden Harvest V3 board. But this one you can't change blade colors. A little bit disappointing, but it's fine. So you just have to make sure you pick the right color that you want and that you're going to be happy with. And uh, But uh, this Sabre was $150 empty and an extra $250 for the Champion Tier Electronics. To get the Pixel Electronics, you're looking at an extra $375. So quite a big jump if you want color changing and a customizable soundboard. So uh, a little pricey, but uh, excellent quality, a great saver for sure. I will now give you guys a close-up look at this beautiful hilt. Okay, saber fans, here's a closer look at this remarkably stunning hilt from Saber Forge. Uh, they absolutely killed this hilt. Incredible job. I, I love it. Uh, when I first got it, I inspected it over. Um, no marks, no blemishes, nothing on it. It's in perfect shape. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but on the handle, there is a little line that you can sort of see where the two halves uh, were separated and then joined. There's a little bit of a seam there, but uh, very, very minor and not noticeable at all. Um, you can get this hilt in uh, several different uh, color variations. You can get it all silver or chrome. Uh, you can get black handle with chrome accents, which is what this one is, or you can get the reverse, a chrome hilt with black accents or all solid black. Um, I believe right now on uh, Saber Forge's website that it is out of stock, but uh, just keep checking back on it if you are looking to purchase this Saber. Uh, Saber Forge has been uh, on the ball lately when it comes to replenishing their stock of uh, out of stock Sabers, so it shouldn't be too long. And. Uh, it should be back in stock, but you can also sign up to receive an email uh, from Saber Forge immediately when it does come back in stock, so you can know and you can be the first one to grab one, which is a uh, great, very convenient if you're looking for a Saber that is currently out of stock. Um, so yeah, let's power this guy up again. Beautiful bright red blade again. I love this hilt, very menacing, very fitting for the character Darth Bane. It's got a very nice menacing claw feature at the emitter. It's a very Count Dooku-esque with the, the color scheme, the curve, the claw. So a very cool, unique saber for sure. Very, very happy with how it looks. And then with the Golden Harvest, uh, V3 soundboard, you get smooth swing. And uh, right now, this is the Bane sound font by Lord Blaco. Incredible sound font. And uh, like I said at the end of this video, I will demo this sound font and show you guys what it's all about. But very happy with the Golden Harvest V3 board. Uh, you get all the standard features, blaster block, flash on clash. Now with the, the champion tier electronics, uh, the blade doesn't actually flash white or any other color. It just kind of flickers. The light flickers when you activate blaster deflect or flash on clash. But it still looks pretty cool, even though it doesn't change another color. And uh, it, it sounds very, very nice. Very happy with uh, the Golden Harvest so far, as, uh, as I am fairly new to it. But uh, I love the fact that it is incredibly user-friendly. Literally, a monkey could program and customize this soundboard. 
it's super easy and uh, that's a big important factor for me. I'm not a profi guy whatsoever. I have some profi savers in my collection that I've managed to somewhat figure out and get to a point where I enjoy the savers, but uh, definitely I look for a user friendliness as one of the, the big factors when I purchase a saber and Golden Harvest V3 certainly uh, accomplishes that for sure. Very user friendly, very happy. Um, before I get to the demo, um, I'll just give you my overall thoughts on Saber Forge so far because I am a fairly new customer. Uh, great quality hilt, great quality electronics. Very, very pleased with this purchase. A little pricey, but I mean, you do get what you pay for. You get a remarkable Saber. Um, if you do purchase from Saber Forge, be prepared to wait. Uh, right now on their website, they post a 12 to 15 week lead time. Um, I think this one shipped after about 18 weeks and I got it about a week later. It was supposed to be here maybe three days ago. Had some issues with FedEx. So again, not uh, Saber Forge's fault at all, but uh, FedEx gave me some grief and it was a few days late arriving, but it's here and it works great. And uh, I do love it, but yeah, uh, their, their lead times are brutal enough as it is at 12 to 15 weeks. And I had to wait another three to four weeks on top of that. So just be prepared to wait, uh, be patient. You will eventually get an amazing saber that you will be very happy with. I can guarantee you that. So yeah. This is my take on a, a Saber Forge Saber, a beauty of a hilt, beauty of a Saber, amazing electronics. And let's get right to that sound font demo, The Bane by Lord Blaco. Teams are broken. <laughs> 